Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, October 24th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And welcome, 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 everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. This is Lisa Freeman coming to you live from StampingWithLisa.com on YouTube. So if you are not here on Tuesday the 24th at 7 p.m. till about 8 p.m., then you are not on the live. You're on the replay. So... <clears throat> Um, welcome everybody. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're awesome. Let me fix my stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fixed it and then it got crooked again. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of people on already. Hey, Lynn. Let me see. I think there was somebody at the top that already went by. Hey, Rocky. It is Eastern time zone at 7 p.m. So I'm not sure what state you're in. It looks like Oregon. Are you in Oregon too? Um, so Oregon's what, three hours behind? So it's like four hour, four o'clock there. Um, hey, Diana. Hey, Julie. Um, hey, Sharon. Hey, Diana. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Renee. Hey, Bill. Hey, Cynthia. Um, hey, Francis. Hey, Diana. Let's see. Hey, Carol. Uh-oh, everybody just goes flying by. It's so funny. We're like, once the live hits and everybody like comes on at the same time, then all the comments just start flying by really fast. So I think I missed some people. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Myra. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Annie. Hey, Kathy. Hey, everybody. So, Rocky, I don't recognize your name. Is That is the first time. Okay, first time live with me. Good. Welcome. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Robin. Oh, there everybody goes flying again. <laughs> All right, so we are doing a fun technique today. I was playing around with this. I had kind of this card in mind to do today, and um, it totally changed as I created it. So what I originally planned to do kind of came out different, but I really love what I came up with. So um, I'm going to show you three different ways to use the baby wipe technique. So if you've never done it before, it's really fun. Um, it's called baby wipe technique because you're using a baby wipe to do um, your stamping. So we're gonna make a, an ink pad out of a baby wipe. So it's really fun. And um, have most of you guys done it before? I've done several videos on it, but my favorite time of the year is to, to do it in the fall because leaves always look really cool with the baby wipe technique. So I love to do it now. Hey, Enika. Caught me live. I know I haven't seen you on here in a while. Hey, Marie. Hey, Robin. Iced Images. That looks like a new name. It's midnight in the UK. Wow. I thought, oh yeah, I was thinking you guys were six hours, but um, I guess daylight saving starts in about a week or so. So then we'll fall backwards. I don't know if Europe does daylight savings like the United States does. Hey, Beth. Gosh, we have a lot of people on already. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jody. All right, so how many of you guys have done baby wipe technique before? Raise your hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got a fun joke for you tonight. <laughs> Several people sent me jokes this weekend. They were so fun. <laughs> hey, Ruth, you're off to bed. Well, soon. Okay. Well, hopefully you'll stick around for a few minutes. All right. So I got a bunch of birthday cards um, in the mail still. And Donna, I did get yours. So, oh, you've never done baby wipe technique? So let me show you the cards that I got in the mail. Um, I'm thinking they're going to probably slow down now since my birthday is over, but... Um, this one is from Robin Niebart, Niebert, Niebert. I can never remember how to say your name. Um, so this one is gorgeous with that brand new paper. Love it. And I, every time I see this happy birthday, I'm like, I've got to use that. I've got to use that. It's so pretty. Love that card. Um, let me see. This one is from Linda Vanderspool. Love it. Love that um, combination there. Very pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
You guys are so sweet. Keep sending me these cards and I just love them, love them, love them. And I have not mailed out the prizes yet because I'm really far behind. This one is all the way from Germany from Anya. Is she on here? I don't know. And this is gorgeous. So this is that gold, um, the gold cards and envelopes that I used on that one card um, like maybe a week or two ago. And she actually sponged it, which I love. And so I'm definitely going to do this um, technique on one of these because I bought like three packs of these gold cards and envelopes. And they are in the holiday mini, but they're kind of hidden, so you might miss them. They're like just in the middle of the page somewhere. This one is from Darlene Erickson in North Carolina. So thank you, Darlene, for that gorgeous card. I don't know. That's I don't think that's stamping up paper, but it's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And um, John sent me the directions on how to do his card, one of the winning cards, so I can do his technique. This one's from Dana Tillmont. Tillmont, Tillmont. I don't know how to, how to say that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love this paper, and I have like four packs of this paper that I need to use up, so. But I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, no, it could be Lost Lagoon. I was getting ready to say it looks like Soft Succulent, but I think it's Lost Lagoon. Because I was thinking I didn't have that. But it, I think it is Lost Lagoon. And that's a really pretty card. So love that. You guys just are amazing stampers. This one is from Gail Dawn. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love this. Um, stitched rectangles too. Beautiful. Beautiful cards. And this one. Oh my gosh. This one is so gorgeous. This one is from um, Bonnie. And it's an easel card. And hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I know. I opened it up. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Love it. Of course, you guys know I love that. Anything with the bumblebees. And so that's how it looks when you set it up. And I love this gold thread that we used to have. And I really wish Stampin' Up! would bring it back. Because it's kind of like the linen thread, but it's gold. And it's just really thin. And it's so easy to work with. And it looks so pretty behind those words like that and I really wish they would bring it back this one is funny because I just opened it a minute ago because I just went and got the mail right before the video and it's kind of similar to my card today so I thought it was really cute this is from Paula Vincent and I love your card and it's so funny because I opened it up and I'm like oh my gosh that's almost the same card we're doing today so love it love it love that embossing folder love that um I can't remember what it's called the gilded I think it's called Gilded mm, Copper. Mm, I can't remember. Anybody remember the name of this paper? It goes with the All About Autumn paper. Um, who remembers the name of this? Why can't I remember? I don't know. But I love it, love it, love it. Gorgeous card. So that was Paula Vincent. Um, this one is from Mel. Mel, I just opened this one too. This came in the mail today. Gorgeous, gorgeous. With one of my favorite stamp sets, the Flowing Flowers. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love those colors. That's soft succulent right there. So I should look at the other one because I'm pretty sure that other one was Lost Lagoon. This one is from Susan Zastro or Zastro. Um, this one is another fun fold. You guys are really good with the fun folds. I need to do them more often because I'm not, I'm, I'm so always like the same about folds. I don't do that many fun folds, but I should. And Donna, here is your card that I have been waiting for. And it is just absolutely adorable. I love it. So Donna, Donna mailed this like a week ago and it took forever to get here. But isn't that the cutest thing? And then it looks like little shopping bags on the front. I think that is absolutely adorable. So I'm definitely going to copy that idea because that is so cute. So thank you, Donna, for that card. I love it. Oh, oxidized copper paper. That's what it's called. Oxidized copper. All right. A lot more people on. Don't forget, if you haven't done thumbs up yet, do thumbs up for me and then share it, like it, comment, all that good stuff to... Um, help my channel grow, which it has. I've got almost a thousand subscribers just in the last three weeks. So um, you guys are doing awesome. Don't forget, this is the card kit for um, till the end of the month. So for the next few weeks, well, not few weeks, one week. 
from today. Gosh, Halloween is one week from today. Uh-oh, so you know what that means. Um, okay, we're gonna have to change the time because trick-or-treating will be right in the middle of my video. So we are gonna have to change the time for Halloween day. So uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about that more Saturday, but probably we'll have to do it early on Halloween because otherwise my doorbell's gonna be ringing like every five minutes while I'm doing the video. So that's not gonna work. Because <clears throat> my office where I do the videos is on the front of the house. So even if I turn the lights out, people are going to be able to see me in here. So they'll know I'm home. So they're going to ring the doorbell. <laughs> all right. So this is the card kit. You get all this um, supplies to make these three cards. If you order $50 or more and use the host code. And then if your order is $100 or more, you'll also get this pack of gorgeous gems. And you get entered into when the... Um, mystery box so i've got a bunch of mystery boxes to give away and last but not least don't forget starter kit special um starter kit special is going on till the end of the month so you've got one more week to take advantage of the starter kit it is an absolutely fabulous deal <clears throat> it is a win-win situation because you get the starter kit for half price if you get the first choice so you get um $125 of product for $64, which is a deal by itself. And you get free shipping. So I don't know why anybody wouldn't take that deal. There's no obligation to do anything else if you don't want to. But if you do want to, the good news is you get the discount um, on whatever else you buy. So, um, and the other deal, if you want to do that one, um, if you want to get more stuff for $99, you can get $168 of stuff. So... Um, both of them are great deals. It just depends on what you want to get. Both have free shipping. Both get a free paper pumpkin kit. And you have no obligation to do anything except get the discount for yourself for as long as you want. So you just have to keep up that minimum to get the discount. But that's the only thing. If you don't keep up the minimum, then you just drop. And that's it. There's nothing. They're not going to come steal your kit back. They're not going to do anything. So it's a great deal. All right, so let's get started. So here's what you need. I'm gonna be doing a whole sheet, kind of like a one sheet wonder, um, only because I wanna show you, this is what I did. So I stamped a whole sheet of these and then I just cut them all out. So that's what we're gonna be doing because you just need one of these for the card, the one big one. And then we're gonna be doing, and I did some little ones too. I was gonna, this is what I was originally gonna do. So I was originally gonna do kind of like a one sheet wonder with the leaves and then do something else on top of it. But then I decided I didn't really like that. So then I changed it to this and just cut these out and did different techniques for the um, leaves. So I changed my mind. <laughs> so, so that's how we ended up with this. All right, so um, for the card itself, you need five and a half bite and a half very vanilla, three of those, because we're making three since this makes a ton. Then you need five and a quarter by four pretty peacock embossed with the leaf fall. And if you guys didn't know, this embossing paper, oops, is still available. It's in the online store. So um, let me see. I'm gonna go back and read some comments real quick. Um, I know, Ruth, isn't that the, the cutest little bags on that card? Um, Robin, if you did make baby wipe cards, you don't remember. I think you would remember if you did, because it's really fun. Um, let's see. You better be dressed when you answer that door. <laughs> I'm dressed tonight. I almost was going to show myself, but I figured this video is going to be long, so I would just not try, try not to talk too much. Um, although I know you guys like it when I talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Beautiful cards. Thank you. Um, oh no. Oh my gosh. I got a funny story to tell you. Okay. So anyway, this embossing folder is still available in the online store. So if any of you guys thought it retired, it didn't, you can still get it. So that's awesome. But it's only available in the on online store. It's not on in the catalog. We're also gonna be using this paper right here, 
which is, um, I don't know what exactly happened. It was supposed to come back in yesterday. So I saved this order. I was waiting all weekend to put in and then went online yesterday to order this paper. And it was um, unavailable till the 30th. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, if the order was delayed or what, but I got up really early to go get some and it wasn't available. So um, this gorgeous paper just keeps selling out every time it comes in though. But now it is set to come in next Monday, the 30th. Um, and I've used a ton of it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite ones. Oh, and I meant to bring my, I did a framed art with it yesterday. That's so beautiful. And this is the stamp set we're gonna be using, Autumn Leaves. And that's in the holiday mini too. All right, I put lots of very vanilla pieces and you don't really need a, a certain amount. You just need it until you run out of ink on your baby wipe. So um, however many you want. And then we're gonna use three pieces of designer paper that are one by three for this piece right here behind the words. And then for the words, I just grabbed some strips of three quarter inch very vanilla. We're gonna stamp the words and then rip off the right side. So that's what you need for your card. Well, cards, plural. And I can't remember if I told you guys this joke the other day that my dentist told me. Um, did you hear that the people in Dubai don't like the Flintstones? I don't think I told you this. Has anybody heard it before? <laughs> All right, so did you hear the people in Dubai don't like the Flintstones? But the people in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> he told me that. <laughs> and of course his hands in my mouth right when he says that. So I'm like dying laughing. <laughs> About to joke on his hand in my mouth. I'm like, don't tell me jokes when you have stuff in my mouth. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. All right. So hopefully you got a screenshot of that before we take these off. I just forgot to tell you last time about the, that, the dentist joke, but I had fun at the dentist. <laughs> you love anything Hershey. How did we get on the subject of Hershey? Uh, um, all right, so we're gonna set this aside for right this minute, and we're just gonna concentrate on making the big card. So we're gonna start with our piece of vanilla. And I just grabbed this. I don't even know what this is. It's an old cutting plate, but for some reason it's blue and I don't know why. But I was looking for a cutting plate, um, you know, for the embossed machine, cut and emboss machine. And um, I couldn't find my extra clear ones that I just had for something else the other day. So I found this one. Does anybody remember having this blue one? I don't even remember what this is for. But anyway, it's you just need something flat to put your baby wipes on. Um, I'm using Huggies. You can use any kind you want. This is just what um, I got on sale one day. So I'm going to take two because I want it kind of thick. So I'm going to fold them in half. And you want them pretty moist. If they're a little bit dried out, you're going to have to add some water to them. Um, I like this kind with the uh, snap. So then they stay moister. All right, so I've got my two baby wipes and then I've got ink refills. So we're gonna be using Copper Clay, Calypso Coral. I'll lay these down. <coughs> um, Mad About Mauve, no, Moody Mauve. <laughs> Mad About Mauve, where did I get that from? Mad About Mauve, was that an old color we had? Mad About Mauve. And Pretty Peacock. So those are the, <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. All right. So Calypso Coral, um, Pretty Peacock, Moody Mauve, and Copper Clay are the colors we're using today. Um, I just, I don't remember ever having this blue plate. That's just weird. I pulled it out. I'm like, where did this come from? All right. So what we're going to do is put like about... 10 or so drops of each color on this baby wipe to make our own ink pad. And so what I'm gonna do, I'll scoot this over so you can see. So just start, you just wanna make sure, it's gotta be, it doesn't have to be, I'll just do random. It doesn't have to be like in a line. Um, that was copper. 
And then, so you just gotta make sure it's bigger than your stamp. And then I've got Moody Mauve. And you just wanna make sure you don't really have any white showing when you finish. Moody Mauve's my favorite, and so is Pretty Peacock. So this is Pretty Peacock. So we're just going around filling in the holes. So just get a good amount of each color. And last one is Calypso Coral. So we're just gonna squeeze that in wherever. Well, this one's hard to squeeze. It's a two, a double hander. And you wanna try not to go on top of another drop. So just get the white areas. So when you finish, it should be about pretty much all running together. So it will run together in just a minute when I start. All right, so there's my ink pad. So it's four different colors all mixed together, but not really on top of each other. You want them separate because you don't want it to get mucky in there. Um, <clears throat> so Sandra's, oh, mad, no, mad about you. <laughs> I remember that show. That was like from the 80s. There were color plates, so you could use one sheet on the bottom and one clear. I don't remember that. Huh. Sizzix has colored plates. I don't remember what the blue plate was for. It might have been for embossing folders. I don't know. It's for the embossing with Big Shot, huh? For 3D, ha! Huh. I don't know why. Next, now I have a gray one. Oh, you know what? That's what it is. This one was blue, and then they changed it to the gray one when we got the new machine. That's right. Um. Yeah, Jalen, I know you say mo mauve, mauve. I think um, British people say mauve instead of mauve. We say mauve. <laughs> it's like aunt and aunt. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Embossing plate is very well used. Um, okay. All right, so here we go. So you wanna let it sit for just a minute and get all juicy and mixed up in there. All right, now here's the important part. When you start stamping, like when no normally you have an ink pad and you go like this, you kind of tap all over like that. You don't wanna do that. Because if you do that, you're gonna mess up your pad. So you have all these colors separate from each other right now. They're gonna to run together a little bit, but you don't want to go like this. So you're just gonna tap just in one spot and the first couple usually are a little bit lighter and then it gets darker as you go so I'm just gonna start and you can always do the first one on scrap paper if you're not sure see that one didn't come out very good all right so let's move I think I need to move this or move this all the way on the pad okay there we go all right so let's try it again See if this one comes out better. Yeah, it's getting better. See, after you do it like two or three times, then it comes out really good. So I should have done it on scrap paper, but that's all right. We're gonna have plenty more. See, that one's almost perfect. I think I turn it this way. That'll help. All right, so we'll just keep going. Oh yeah, that one's good. And I'm gonna cut these out so that really doesn't have to be any specific way here. So you can just keep turning them different directions. And I've seen people do this technique all different ways. Um, so you can do the dots like randomly like I did or you can do them like in circles or you can do lines. It doesn't really matter. So see how cool these come out? I love it. So you just make a really cool combination. We can throw that one away. Or I could try and stamp on top of it again and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I think that's about all I can fit on there because um, I want to cut these out. I'm going to try and stamp on top of that one again and see what happens. If it comes out... See if I can line it up. Oh, almost. Actually, that worked pretty well, pretty good. I don't know about that one. Let me see if I can fix that one. 
Got it. That's the good thing about the clear ones. You can usually line them up pretty well. All right, so now I'm gonna do the inside of each card. So I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. So I'm gonna stamp the inside of each card. I love these colors together too because they're not like typical fall colors, but I think they're so pretty together. Oh, that one's a little bit dry on that edge. I'm oh, sorry, it's the inside of the card. Gorgeous, love it, love it. All right, so you can just keep going with this ink pad until it really starts to get muddied up. Um, once the colors start kind of running together, then you know you're kind of like done because it's just not gonna come out like really good anymore. But um, So I could keep on going like for a whole nother sheet probably and do it. But what I'm gonna do is show you the other kind of technique that you can do. So when you're done with this and you've stamped all the ones you want, and if you want to, let me do a card front just so you can see that too. I'll put some scrap paper under here because I don't want to waste it since I've still got a lot of juice in there. So just do some on here. Oh, it is good. I didn't press hard enough on there. Oh, still kind of messed up. I don't know why this keeps moving. My baby wipes moving a little bit. All right. I have like a really juicy spot right in the middle. All right. And then what I also did on this one was I took these leaves and did these leaves on here. So we're going to just do a few of those. They came out really good. Oh, love it. Those look really good. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with that stamping. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take our centerpiece. So what we're gonna do is go back on top of all these. So I'm gonna do this page. And <clears throat> I don't want this whole long stem because when you cut these out, you um it doesn't cut the stem so you don't really need it um for this particular thing that we're doing if you were doing this like as a one sheet wonder then i would go ahead and put the whole stem if you want to but i'm only going to ink up just a little bit of that stem and i'm going to use the pretty peacock <coughs> all right so just ink up so what I'm doing is just the tip. I'm going down just enough so I make sure I get the bottom part of that stamp. And then just go right on here and kind of center it. And there you go. Love it. So you're gonna do that with all of them. I'm not gonna do them all because once you do a few, you can kind of tell what to do. But I did try to space them far enough apart that I had enough room to get that um, in there. So just go around the whole thing and it just makes such a difference putting this, the veins on the leaf. Don't you think that looks so much better doing that? And same thing with the smaller ones on the other page that I did. All right, so that's probably good enough. So then I just went through after I did the whole sheet and I started cutting them out. Um, let me do the insides real quick. And then I'm going to show you the other technique. Oops. The other techniques are really cool too. And I think I showed them last time we did a um, baby wipe technique, but I can't remember. See, that looks better, even though I kind of messed that one up because it was a little bit dry. Oh, I was going to tell you my story. Okay, so... I went on Amazon to order Halloween candy. So a lot of it was sold out, but then one, a few things I got, they it ended up going to Amazon Fresh, which I really hadn't planned on doing an Amazon Fresh order because um, 
I just don't order from Amazon Fresh the food, you know, that much. For some reason, the candy was really dirt cheap at Amazon Fresh, but not on Amazon regular. So I was like, okay, well, I'll place an Amazon Fresh order. So I, I start adding things to the order because if you order $50, you get free delivery. And I was like, okay, that's good. So um, I'm going to do the words real quick. So then this little message pops up and it says, um, spend $100, get $50 for free. And I was like, what? Because my order was already like $55. And I'm like, okay, I can order another $50 for free. So this is on Amazon Fresh. So if you have Amazon Prime and um, you order from Amazon Fresh, like in the next month, it's good for about a month, um, you get $50 or off of a $100 order. So I'm going to rip this and do another one. Um, but I'm not sure if it works if you order from them all the time. Maybe because I haven't ordered from them in a long time. Because my friend who orders from them all the time, she tried it and... Um, it didn't work. So you have to use the coupon code. It is FRESH50. So F-R-E-S-H 50. And it has to be a $100 delivery order. $100 or more. And then um, you get $50 off. So it just popped up on the screen. And I took a screenshot and sent it to um, everybody I know. <laughs> so. So hopefully a lot of my friends are going to get a deal. So anyway, I ordered some Halloween candy and I had my order and then I decided I wanted to add a couple more things. So I went back in and then I was like, mm, it was getting up too high because I had it like right at $105, $110. So somehow it kept going way up and I'm like, why is it getting so expensive? So um, I took a few things off. But somehow it added like more candy. So it was like doubling the candy that I got, but not taking off what I was canceling. So I, I get the order today and I got five gigantic bags. I mean gigantic, like 250 pieces of candy in each bag. They ended up being like $15 a piece. and But the bags are humongous. I mean, they're so big. It's crazy. How big they are. I've got enough Halloween candy to last me like five years. But anyway, I thought that was funny because the guy delivers it and puts it on my porch and it took me five trips to get it all in the house because there was hardly any groceries. It was all candy. <laughs> but they had candy corn was like 48 cents for a bag of candy corn, like a regular Brock's candy corn. Um, M&M's for like the 10 ounce bags were a dollar, I think a dollar 40 something. Um, what else? And those big giant bags of candy, they were they were normally um, like $29.99 and they were on sale for like half price. So it was a really good deal. All right, so now I'm going to show you the other techniques. So I'm going to take my vanilla. I'm going to read a couple comments real quick. Uh, let me scroll back. Let me see. Um, oh, Nancy, you say mauve move like the Brits. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So everybody's decided this used to be the old, the one that's gray. Now this was the old pad for 3d embossing that is now gray. Yep. Don't forget to do thumbs up. Um, Oh, Robin. Yeah. Get the baby wipes out. Try it tomorrow. I'm not sure. Well, if you use baby wipes, I use like makeup remover for my makeup to remove makeup. I don't know if they're the exact same or not. They might have something else different in them. Um, the veins is pretty peacock. That was pretty peacock. That's the only ink pad I have. All right, so here's what you do. So you're going to take your leftover baby wipe. You're going to fold it up. And this is the messy part. I should have brought a glove, but I'm actually going to get another baby wipe. So... Hopefully I won't get my hands totally filthy. All right, we're gonna fold it in quarters like that. And then I'm just gonna hold it. Try not to get my fingers too inky. Let me get some scrap paper. We'll move this out of the way. All right, so here's what you do. So you're gonna make, with what's left over on here, the leftover ink, you're gonna make um, a backgrounds. 
So we're just gonna tap this. I got a really dark spot right there. Okay, there we go. So this is what I cut my leaves out of, my little leaves. And you can do this for uh, really like mm, an hour. <laughs> I just have this one dark spot on here. Let me try and grab it different. I don't want that darkness. Let me hold it here. There we go. All right, so you just tap it all over and it makes this really pretty background like that. So here's my finished ones from earlier that are dry. And then let me show you the leaves I popped out. So here are the leaves. Aren't those gorgeous? So this is the leaves I popped out of this paper earlier. So I just like did it just like that, like I'm showing you. And it just makes this really cool background. So you're just kind of all over pouncing it. Although I just have this one little dark spot that's messing this up. But you won't see it when you pop it out with the dyes. So when you pop that out, let me grab my dies. So you just put your dies on there, pop them out like that. And if you want to do this one, you can make a uh, big leaf like that. And it makes the prettiest leaves. So this is one technique. So you can just keep on doing this. You can make like probably 10 of these with your leftover ink. And then after you do that, all the blobbing, you're going to take, and this is another technique. Aren't these beautiful? I just love these leaves. I think they're so pretty. Like the paper, when you look at it, you're like, well, ah, just looks like a blob. But then when you punch those out, they're so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me read your comments. I somehow got messed up. Um, oh, Karen, your refills are not with you. No. All right, Jalen, that's what we're getting ready to do next is swipe. So now I'm going to show you the third technique. So after you do all that pouncing, you're still gonna have a ton of ink left. So now we're gonna swipe and create, oops, there's a bug in here. So now we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna swipe with what's left. So you're just, I like to do it in an S shape. So I kind of start like this and go like this. And I don't know why I have this one spot on here. I'm gonna have to fold this different. Because I get that one little dark spot. Let me fold it over a little bit different. Let's try the other side. Okay, so do that. Let's try it again with the other side, see if that's better. Yeah, that comes out better. So you just get this really cool, you can do it straight across if you want to, like that. And that comes out really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, love it. That's really pretty like that, just stripes straight across. So you could just keep doing this all day till you run out of ink on this baby wipe. And then let me show you the leaves I got from this. So when I punch these leaves out, oh gosh, look at my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that off before I get this on everything. Okay, so tip is to wear gloves <laughs> so you don't get your fingers all dirty. Um, but I hate to waste this, so just keep on going. Oh, this is my last piece of paper, so I gotta quit. But just keep going with that. And start off the edge of the paper. All right, so there you go. So we've got all that gorgeous um, background now. I actually like the striped ones, straight ones better. That came out really not very good. Let me show the other one I did earlier. This is one from earlier. And then when you pop them out, you get this isn't that cool so even if it comes out ugly you still get gorgeous leaves so 
So those are the leaves with the stripes, and then these are the leaves with the um, speckly. So this is this one. So we've got both of those. So see how that is so cool? So you don't waste any of the ink. So um, your fingers would not be white. <laughs> you can draw stripes with the baby wipes. Yes, yes. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, so many options. Looks like watercolor. Yes, I love that. I think that's so pretty. And that's going to make some really pretty. I like the swirls though. This one kind of came out more straight. But this one is like kind of swirly looking. That one's kind of swirly. All right, so you just save those for later and you can make whatever you want. Now we're gonna put the card together. So I didn't use these for the card, I used these, but we can do whichever, it doesn't matter. All right, so I popped the leaves out of, oh, I do have one left, darn it, and I already threw the thing away. All right. So what we're gonna do is glue this down first and I like my green glue for doing this whenever I have embossed stuff. My fingers, well my fingers looked like this a couple hours ago but after I did some dishes and it just took it right off. I don't know, washing your hair and doing the dishes always takes the ink off. But if you just wash your hands, for some reason it doesn't work. I guess dish soap and shampoo works better. Because if I don't do one of those two, then usually the ink is on there for a few hours. All right. So there we go with that. And then I've got my big leaves over here. And then I punched out um, this out of that, what is it called? Oxidized copper paper. So um, that's the, the copper paper. This is what I punched out of from my other one. So it's gonna come out different every time. So these are actually a little bit darker than the ones I did earlier. But you can make so many cards just from one sheet of that. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down kind of near the top. And you know, this folder does like three quarters of your card. So I kind of positioned it so that my top corner would be the bare one that didn't have any um, leaves on there. And then we've got to do that on all three. I'm not putting any glue near the bottom because I'd want to tuck that, um, this over top of the words. So I'm not putting glue right here on, on just this part right here. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So just leave those bottom leaves, like not all the way down. Okay, and then we're gonna glue these two together. I love dipping, you know? <laughs> I think when you put dip your words in the ink pad it um just looks so cool and you don't even have to put another sheet of cardstock behind it and it gives you that kind of layered look love it Okay, last one. I've really gotten on this kick of making the three cards with every video. I don't know, <laughs> but it gives me more to give away. All right, so now we've got that. We're just gonna glue that down right flat. I'm gonna pop up some of the leaves, but not, not this. Okay, so this I'm gonna put over top of this um, part of the leaf, but under this part. So it's gonna kind of hang over just a little bit. Like that. Hold that down for a second. Love the dipping too. Heating up pot roast and veggies, yummy. Never dipped my sentiments, what? 
you can make a paste of baking soda and water to clean your hands. Well, I have to remember that. All right, so again, we're just gonna stick it right. I should have tilted that just a little bit more. That's okay. Whoops. All right, last one. You know what's so funny is that video that I did on the napkins, the napkin technique with saran wrap, that video has kind of gone viral. It's already got like 35,000 views on it. <laughs> I was like, I was, well, I've looked the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's got so many views. That's crazy. All right. So this one I'm going to stick on with, um, actually all of these I'm going to stick on with dimensionals. So let me get those out. So we're not going to use these. We need six of these. I like that one. Oh, that was dark. All right, so let's put all these dimensionals on here. This this little leaf is kind of um, got slits in it, and if you put the glue on it, it gets it kind of leaks through to the other side a little bit. So I try not to use the glue too much with the little ones. All right, so just one will do ya. And then we're gonna put that like right there, kind of coming down over top of the words a little bit. Love it, love it, love it. So we had a meeting last night with my um, upline and our group and we had to do a frame dart um, using a gift tag. It was supposed to be like a tag frame dart. So you had to use like a tag in there somewhere. So I did mine with the leaf set and I did the Moody Moth and um, the paper, the, the same paper, this paper right here. And it came out so pretty. So I'm going to do a video with that maybe Saturday. Um, okay, just overlap that just a little bit there. And you can do these just like they're falling, you know, however you want to, back and forth. Love it. I love these colors together. And I just kind of went by the pack of paper. I looked on the back of the paper to see what colors were in it and used mostly the colors that were in it. So that's where I get my color schemes from. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna put some gems on here. So I brought my um, brushed metallic adhesive back dots. So we're just gonna put one of those. And I'm gonna use the copper one. And I think I'm gonna take a big one right here. I don't know if I like the big one or the little one. Oops. It's stuck. Oh, oh, I just grabbed myself with that hook. <laughs> I need to put a cap on that before I poke myself right in the boob. All right. So there we go. I like the smaller one better, I think. And you can, if you want to put some more in there, you can. But you only get like a limited amount of each of these, so... I don't use a ton of them usually. All right, and then we're gonna squirt it with some shimmer spray. Oh, you know what I forgot? The ribbon. Don't forget my ribbon. All right, I did a couple bows ahead of time. And then I brought one to make in front of you guys. So I just cut a long piece of linen thread and then I cut it in half and do a double bow. So I just make a loop and just like you're tying your shoe and then just pull it tight and I like having these long hangy threads that might be a little bit too long but we'll cut it just a little bit okay all right so we're gonna take some glue dots and you might just want to roll it up just a little 
so it doesn't show. Hold on. Let's get our little hooky do. Kind of roll it in half and put it on there. Oops. <laughs> well, it got, came off on my fingernail. All right, there we go. All right, we're just going to put that right on that leaf and let it just dangle like that. All right, let's go to another one. Let's try this again. So just roll it in half and stick it. I don't know how I managed to get that other one to come off under there. And if you don't like that dangling over the words like that, just make it shorter. But I think it's pretty, I think it looks pretty hanging there. All right, one more. I love this little hooky tool. I think it's really cool. All right, this bow's a little bit big. All right, there we go. Now we can do our shimmer spray. All right, and that's gonna make it super pop out gorgeous. See if you can see the shimmer on here. It shows up really well because it's a dark color. Love it. All right, so see if you can see that shimmer. Love it, love it. All right, girls and guys, guys and girls, there you go. So there's our cards for today. Don't you love that baby wipe technique? Oh, all three of those techniques. I hope I taught you something new today that you've never seen before. I was just messing around and came up with that. Um, Uh-oh, what bounced? No blood in my videos. No, I don't have any blood. Well, that looks like blood, but it's not. I just poked myself. Luckily, I've got cushion in there. So it didn't poke through anything. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing clothes. You're right. <laughs> oh, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, you are so funny. Oh, my gosh. I think you should put that little leaf on the lower right half of the label. Just overlap it a bit. Oh, well. Sorry, it's already glued down. <laughs> Bought a pink craft iron because of that video. Was that the video of some story that I couldn't stop laughing at? I don't know. I tell so many stories I forget what I talk about. And then people will send me messages in the comments and they're like, what was that thing you're saying? I'm like, I got to go back and watch the video again so I can remember what I was talking about. Um, I keep forgetting about this technique. All right, you guys ready for a joke? This one is a really... Funny one. Hold on. Let me pull it up. All right. This one is from Cindy Schmidt. So thank you, Cindy, for sending me this joke. It is really cute. All right. The perfect husband. Several men are in the locker room at the golf club. A cell phone on the bench rings and a man engages the hands-free speaker function and begins to talk. Everyone else in the room stops to listen. The man says, hello. And the woman says, hi, honey, it's me. Are you at the club? The man says, yes. And then the wife says, I'm at the shops now and found this beautiful leather coat. It's only $2,000. Is it okay if I buy it? Sure, go ahead if, if you like it that much. I also stopped by the Lexus dealership and saw the new models. I saw one I really liked. The man says, how much? And the woman says, $90,000. The husband says, okay, but for that price, I want it with all the options. The woman says, great. Oh, and one more thing. I was just talking to Janie and I found out that the house I wanted last year is back on the market. They're asking $980,000. Well, then go ahead and make an offer of $900,000. They'll probably take it. If not, we can go the extra $80,000 if that's what you really want. The woman says, okay, thanks. I'll see you later. I love you so much. The man says, bye. I love you too. The man hangs up. The other men in the locker room are staring at him in astonishment, mouths hanging open. He turns and asks, Anybody know whose phone this is? <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. I love the jokes when I don't see it coming. And it's like, just crack up because you're like, okay, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, I hope.
hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I got a few cards to give away. Hold on a minute. Hold the phone. I got some cards to give away. All right, so here we go. Let me move these out of the way. Don't forget, thumbs up if you haven't done that yet. We're still about 50 people behind on the thumbs ups. And share it to Pinterest or wherever you want with all your friends. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. And let me pick some winners of some cards. Get my handy pad. All right. I think we will give the first one to... Let me see... Who has not won recently? Um, I think we'll give one to Rocky to welcome him. So Rocky, you're gonna win the first card. So what you have to do is um, email me at, let me get my email address, stampgirl2, number two, at cox.net. So Rocky, what's your last name? Wilkins. Whoops. All right, so you win this one. And then we've got this one from the other day. Let's see. Patricia, you've never ordered from Amazon Fresh. It's Well, we have an Amazon warehouse like maybe 10 or 15 minutes from my house, so it's pretty close. Only thing I don't like is they don't come straight here. They'll, they'll deliver like four or five people's orders. And mine was the very last one on the stop, so it took him like forever to get here. Um, Twyla, I think you get one today. I can have this one. Let's see. Rosemary used to use this technique for cards. Oh, you just used it last night. Um. Let's see. Carolyn, I don't think you've won one, have you? Catch mark. All right, so Carolyn, you'll get one of these tree ones. And then I've got two Santa Claus ones. Let's see, who else? Um, looks like the, oh, Quilt Maker. I, um sent you a message back about that. I'll have to look up the item number. If you just go to the Stampin' Up! website, if you go to my um, blog, stampingwithlisa.com, and you can click on um, the name of the stamp set that I sent you, um, which was, uh, let me see, hold on. Hold on. One second, I gotta sit right here. This is the one that I used the other day, that sprinkle right there. And this item number is 161229. So that's the stamp I was using the other night um, with the sprinkles. But it's in a bunch of different stamps. Um. <laughs> Vicki, you are so funny. Um. Let's see. And so many people who are always on here who have always won cards. Is there anybody who hasn't won a card recently? Uh, let me see. Which video? Oh, Linda says, which video went viral? It was the one I just did like a month ago with the nap. It wasn't even a month ago with the napkins. How to do the napkins with the um, saran wrap. Okay. Joan, we'll do one for you, Joan. Pellinger. Dolores, you have never won a card. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe that. You send me cards all the time. You are gonna win this one tonight. So there you go. All right, you guys, we are all done. And what's going on with Joan's husband? I missed something. Oh, chemo. Oh, my gosh. Okay, everybody say a prayer for Joan's husband starting chemo tomorrow. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, Michelle Townsley. I'll write your name down for the next time. 
so you can win one next time, okay? All right, you guys, have a great night, and I will see you back on Saturday at noon. Try this technique from today. It's so much fun. Um, and if you want a card tonight, don't forget to email me, stampgirl2 at cox.net, so I can send it in the mail to you. And here's the cards from today, in case you didn't get a screenshot of that. So you guys enjoy your week. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy and stay safe. And I'll see you in a few days. Don't forget thumbs up if you haven't done it yet. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.